was going to my uh, grandpa's funeral, but I'm not a mourning person. <laughs> <laughs> You guys think that uh, people from the South use Incestry.com? <laughs> Tony and my cousin. I don't know how it works. I'm trying new things. I'm trying to put myself out there. I'm trying to start a Jane Austen fight club. <laughs> you understand? So far, it's just been me. Been really beating myself up about it. <laughs> it's been difficult. It's been, it's been hard. No, I am trying new things, though. I'm trying to put myself out there. I was actually recently trying to join this uh, barbershop quartet. You guys remember those? Like the old guys with like the bow ties and sing. It's cute. But it was like a turnoff because like these guys ended up being like really hardcore conservatives, like Trump supporters. It was weird for me because like you'd think you'd be a little more open minded when you're gay. <laughs> Some people think my jokes are homophobic. I'm not homophobic. I want to dispel that rumor right now. I mean, like, growing up, most of my best friends were priests, so. <laughs> I didn't go to church. I never, never went to church. Thank God. <laughs> I was at the dog park the other day, but uh, none of the dogs were mine. And I thought to myself, this is probably what most pedophiles feel like. <laughs> If I'm at the dog park, and none of the dogs are mine, does that make me a pet ophile? I could. I could. I won't, but I really could. I, uh, I miss concerts. Those were fun. I'm trying to go to more concerts. All my favorite artists keep dying. It's you know? It's like I didn't see David Bowie, Prince, Rita Franklin just died. R.I.P. S.P.E.C.T. You know? <laughs> so sad. I miss her. More to come back. I'm really trying to make up for the last concert I went to. Last concert I went to was a little band called Smash Mouth. I don't know if you're familiar. <laughs> It was a free show, but I, uh, I want my money back. <laughs> Something is owed to me. It was very unfortunate. It was funny, like, some guy threw his beer at the lead singer, and then he spent an entire 20 minutes just chewing us out as a crowd. And it was really unfortunate. But luckily, though, his manager pulled him aside. He was like, hey, now. <laughs> You're a rock star. Get your show on and get paid. And you know what? He went up there, did the other two songs Smash Mouth had. It was hard for me watching it though, because my PTSD was kicking in. My uh, post traumatic Shrek disorder that I had. <laughs> Been, uh, looking for a job on one of those fancy things. It's uh, difficult. I used to work at a suicide hotline, but ended up getting fired because like, people would call in. I would just practice material. <laughs> I guess they want to talk about their feelings. I don't know. They kept hanging up. I don't really. <laughs> Turns out I had a zero percent success rate. <laughs> My jokes have killed more than they've saved. <laughs> and it's unfortunate. I wish they would yeah. I used to work at 7-Eleven, but I didn't really like it. Like, 7-Eleven was an inside job. And I'm an outdoorsy person, so. It's an you guys, I'm really not sure how to say this. 
，我是诗诗。You guys have been wonderful. My name is Kevin Hart. Give it right back up for your mom.